Hi there and welcome to the Guitar Fingers uh, 2 Minute Technique video on creating two octave minor scales just using two shapes. Two shapes that encompass a single octave each and when we combine them together we can create two octaves. Uh, these are eventually forming our cage shapes, um, the traditional way of forming scales, but just breaking it down slightly simpler into uh, one octave cells uh, will enable you to see how we can create the scales across uh, for all minor keys and in fact actually any ad adaptations uh, on different types of scales afterwards but I'll do that in a separate video. The trick here now is to just learn these two shapes to create two octave scales um, and of course these are going to be for all keys not for open strings, um, although they can be adapted for open strings and where uh, that is appropriate, uh, I'll show you why the, it's pretty much the same but it just uses different fingers because we don't use the same fingers for closed strings and open string scale shapes. So we're going to start off straight away with um, a string 6, an A minor scale, I'm using all the natural note names again, it's like in my C major, um, really really simple. Um, I'll just say the note names first, use the uh, diagram that's on the sheet uh, for the net diagram um, and you'll see that all the note names are there and then we'll do it uh, the second way that I use finger numbers. So we'll start off with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A using uh, the finger pattern 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3. Okay, so really, really simple, Not, nothing hard here. Let's go to the next string, string five. Now, of course, an A, uh, if we're going to do A minor, we've either got an open string A, or we have to go to the 12th fret A. So, uh, obviously, we just play the same here. It would just be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And you can see it's really the same pattern, but I'm just going to start it now on string five. We're going to do D minor, so we've just got D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, but exactly the same when you see the pattern on the diagrams there. So, uh, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. Okay, really, really simple. Okay, so let's find an A, we'll go back to A minor, so on string four now, and let's try that. So we've got one, three, four, one, three, four, so that's A, B, C, D, E, F. Before I just put finger one down, but that's not right because we've got to shift along when we get to string two. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, one, three, four, one, three, four. I could go one, three with my shift, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to make that simpler. One, three, four, one, three, four, two, four. It's the same shape, but just shifted because of string two. Let's look at the third string now. So we've got uh, one, three, four, A, B, C, but we've got a string two, so we've got to shift finger one along to the right. So uh, one, three, four, one, three, four with the shift. One, three, four, one, three, four. Okay, and then one three okay because that's underneath the one three four on string two so anything string two shifts along and then everything below that which is only string one of course just follows uh, the existing patterns that we had before for strings six five okay so really really simple just remember those uh, note names uh, and those scale patterns using the fingers and then you can change them so let's just prove the point uh, let's do our string six minor B minor B C sharp D E F sharp G A B okay so it works and I'll work on all the strings let's do the backward shape now that's our forward shape of course so the backward shape A minor I'm going to start with finger four on string six we'll start with the sixth string shape to find the next note is three frets backwards so so now I can do four one two four one two four one a, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So remember that backwards cell. You start with finger four on string six, go back three, and then just use the finger pattern that's written. Let's have a look at that. Um, I will go to the fret 12 here. This is uh, perfectly doable for us on the classical guitar. And of course, these scales are uh, for any guitar, really. Uh, electric and using not just fingers, but plectrums. Okay, so here we go. Four for the A on string five. There we are. Go back uh, three frets, there's my B. So four, one, two, four, one, two, four. Ah, now we've come to a string two. I can't use finger one. I've got to move along to, sorry, move along one to fret 10 there. So, so four, one, two, four, one, two, four. 
let's just use finger two. Let's not do finger one and shift, let's use finger two as it's there. So you can see it's exactly the same shape as the sixth string backward cell, but just the shift on string two because of uh, the string two being in a third, which I explained in the major scales. Let's go to um, string four, let's find an A, fret seven, go back three frets, which we need to here. A, B, C, D, what, four, one, two, four. String two, I can't do one, two, four there, so I've got to move along, one, two, four, okay. And then a one directly underneath there on fret five. So here it's the same again, four, one, two, four. I'm gonna use one, two, four, but shift along, one, two, four, because of string two, and there's my A underneath that note E there. Okay, let's have a look at uh, string three. If I did it on there, uh, so uh, I'd have open strings this time, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then I'd have to find a high A and make it the full octave, but we're not going to do that. So let's just choose a nice simple one, D minor, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, uh, C, D, uh, and start on fret seven of the third string. Now, if I did a string, uh, sorry, a finger four there, and go uh, three back, Okay, that's not right, so because of string two, shifts up one fret. So what's the point starting with four? That's not, let's start with three. So I get a three, now I get my one, two, four, one, two, four. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. Okay, we don't quite complete the octave when we're on string three, we'd have to go to fret 10. But we'll be combining the scale shapes to do that uh, so we know how to play full two octaves uh, and use our cage shapes later on. Okay, so some helpful tips uh, on the top of the sheet. Um, we cover uh, four strings, except when we start on string, uh, it's string four. Okay, so when we start on string four, we're covering five frets, so just remember that. Um, shape pattern is the same and only changes when the second string is used. Well, I've explained that. Uh, as we know, we have to shift one to the right. The second note is always three frets back from the tonic, the start note, uh, except when starting on string three. Well, I explained that. Always start with left hand uh, four, except when starting on string three. Uh, and of course the scales are all movable for across the neck for closed positions and I explained that the open strings um, just have a slightly different uh, feel for the fingers. We use different fingers because we don't start with the same fingers there. So memorise those two shapes and in the next video on minor scales we'll combine them to create our full two octaves and uh, start to look at the cage shapes.